Uh, so far, I like the energy. Um, the kids are really, they're really trying. They're buying in. They're doing what we ask them to do. Uh, a lot of learning left to go, a lot of coaching technique-wise, and just what we're trying to get done in the scheme. But I, I like where they're going. Uh, I, I think they're going to be all right. Well, I, I think that's a good question. I think you need to um, get to know these kids as people be before we start, you know, going going too hard on them for for errors and all that kind of thing. And, and I think our coaching staff is a really good uh, teaching group. I, I think we all are, are so willing to to travel with Coach Frost anywhere because we believe what he believes, and that's if we uh, if we make these kids into to good dads and good brothers and good sons and good husbands and good people in the community, then. We're not going to have to talk about wins and losses very much. So um, the starting point to that is getting to know these kids as people, and, and then we'll, we'll get into the football real hard. Eric, what's the biggest challenge facing this defense this spring? Uh, the biggest challenge of this defense is just kind of, I think, changing the mindset. We want to get turnovers. We want to be aggressive. Uh, we want to get to the quarterback. We want to get the football out. Uh, we, we need to be an aggressive unit to match up with our offense, and I think we just need to change the mindset, getting guys pressed up on receivers, um, letting guys loose, making guys free to, to make plays in the football instead of worrying about letting something go on over their head. So I think it's just the mindset and the, the culture. How has that translation gone? Because that was one of the things some of the players talked about, the attacking mentality was different than what they experienced the season before. Has that been an easy process in getting them to start thinking that way? Uh, I think it's an easy process to get them to start thinking that way. Now doing it on the field is a different thing. Um, really letting it loose, not being afraid to make a mistake. Like Coach Frost talks about, you know, the desire to excel and no fear of failure. Let, let's go make a play. And if you miss, you're not going to get MF'd. You're not going to get dog cussed. We're going to teach you how to do it better. Um, so we just need these guys to let it loose a little bit. The mindset is getting there, but the actions need to follow. Coach, you said uh, your defense starts up front with that nose tackle. How is that position looking so far? Um, so far, I've been really happy with those guys. You know, we've got a, we've got a few guys that are rotating in. Coach Dawson's kind of playing everybody at every uh, position so we can get a good evaluation on, on who should be where. And also if, you know, the, the right end goes down and the, the left end is the next best player, he can come in there instead of having to put the sixth best guy in. So um, I'm happy with it so far, but we still need to find out who's number one and number two because that guy's got to be the heavyweight champ of the world for us. Yeah, I think, I mean, there, there's some talent there. There's definitely some talent there. Um, like I said, you know, I don't know exactly what they were asked to do before, but I know what we want them to do, and they're, they're making that transition nicely. Um, it's really cool to watch those guys. We got a couple picks in practice the other day. It was very, very cool to watch those guys get excited and get on each other's hats and, and, and understand that that's what this thing's about. We're going to be some ball hawks back there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the defense matters. That kid should thrive in any defense. He's got talent. Um, he needs a little bit more physicality. Uh, we need to work on that, and he knows it, and he wants to work on that. Um, and he's going to be a great guy pressed up on receivers because of the length he possesses. Um, but I don't think it matters what defense. I think he's a, he's a very talented athlete. He's a special kid, and uh, we're going we're gonna to try to make him the best we can. Well, I mean, you know, since the beginning of football, usually the defense is a little bit of ahead, especially when you play like we do, where we're, we're going to go attack people. Um, if the offense makes a mistake and we're on the attack, we're, we're usually the, the beneficiary there. We're the aggressor. Um, so early on, um, you know, ju just us trying to make some plays and also the effort those kids gave the first couple of days. I think their effort may have been a little higher than the other side of the ball. And, and I think that's not because of anything the offense is doing. I think it's because they're trying to learn. They got a lot of install thrown at them. We don't have as much install. We, we want to do the little things right before we move on. Uh, it's just a different kind of style of learning. And I think we're a little bit ahead of the curve right now and they're, they're going to catch us really quick. I've seen it happen um, for a lot of years with Coach Frost.
Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of kids playing really well. I thought Mo Berry did a nice job the last couple days. You know, Will Honus has come in. He's swimming in deep water a little bit, being brand new to, to Division One football, Big Ten football. But he's done a nice job. Uh, Dedrick Young's done a nice job at that inside position. Um, and then there's a lot of guys coming along right behind him. Um, but I think we're going to definitely be able to, to have a nice crew there. I think there's a sense of urgency from the whole team to prove themselves. I don't, I don't think four and eights where anybody wanted Nebraska football at, and I don't think these kids came here for, for that. So I think there's a sense of urgency to do it the right way, to be held accountable, um, to get this thing back where it needs to be. So yeah, I definitely think there's a sense of urgency from the whole team. Well, first off, you get a ton of reps. So we get a lot of reps for every kid in, on the defense. It's not like you're a third team guy. A lot of places I've been, you're a third team guy. You get like three reps of practice. Our kids are getting a ton of reps uh, because of the speed they go at, number one. Number two, by the time we finish spring ball, there won't be a formation, there won't be a play, there won't be a motion, there won't be any kind of trickeration, there won't be anything we haven't seen. So when we get to the, to the regular season, they'll be doing some crazy stuff, and our kids will go, ah, no big deal, we, we saw that 10 times. Because um, they really stress out whatever defense you're going to play. They stress coverage, they stress uh, the run game. So I think it's a really good thing. And a lot of times when you play against a, a traditional power I team, you learn how to defend it, but you don't learn those fine coaching points um, because there's not the quarterback pulling the ball. There's not the triple option aspect of it. There's not that RPO off of it. Um, so our kids have to be really dialed into what they need to do every rep. Going against an attacking system like that offensively, uh, how does it help you guys to be attacking all you know, the opposite things? Well, it, it just, it's, it's like we talk about. They're attacking, we're attacking. If somebody makes a mistake on offense, it's bad news, and it's probably going to be a TFL or a sack. If somebody makes a mistake on defense, if 10 other guys get to the rock or, or play really fast, we're going to be okay. You know, we tell them all the time, it's like an effort. It's like a coat of paint covers up a lot of rough spots. You know, on, on offense, on offense, one guy makes a mistake, it, it's bad news. So um, with us attacking and them attacking, we, 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 we get the advantage a lot of the time. I definitely think that's the case. Um, he understands football, um, no matter what the scheme is. He understands what we're trying to get done. He's the first one to make some calls in the coverage. Um, I think he's. I think he's got a high football intelligence, and I think that's really going to help him um, as we move on. He'll. He'll not only understand what his job is, but also what the under coverage job is, and also what the offense is trying to present to us. All right. Thanks, guys.